Hi there folks, Brendan from Advanced Radio here. Today we're going to show you how to bind your Futaba receivers to the Futaba version of the SmartBus RRS. As you can see here, we've got two receivers ready to be bound. Okay? The SmartBus RRS will work with either a single or dual receiver setup, but when using a dual receiver setup, which is what we recommend, you'll get downlink telemetry plus you'll also get some redundancy. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our master receiver here plugged into the SBUS2 port and it's plugged into the R1 channel of the smart bus. We've also got two batteries plugged in to power the smart bus. These are the excess power life E range, 6.6 .6 volts. And simply, all you do is you will pan over to the uh, radio where it says RX1, hit the link button and power on the smart bus. Receiver one bound, that's your master receiver done. Now, if we want to bind a second receiver, you have to ensure that your Futaba radio is set up for dual. Hit the second RX2 link button, and then plug your receiver in to the SBUS2 port. You've just bound two receivers to the smart bus. Now, with two receivers plugged in and bound, we also offer downlink telemetry. So we'll come out of here, we'll go to our telemetry page, there you go. So now we're showing downlink telemetry, and that's the voltage on both the batteries we have plugged in, plus the milliamps used from both sides. And to compare, there it is on the screen. So you can use either the radio or the screen to monitor your batteries. That's it. That's the power of the smart bus.